In this video, we will discuss about spectrophotometer. The objectives of this video is that the introduction of spectrophotometer, the types, single beam spectrophotometer, double beam spectrophotometer, and its components. So, what is a spectrophotometer? A spectrophotometer is an instrument and this instrument measures the amount of light that is being absorbed by a sample. So, how much amount of light is being absorbed by a sample is measured using the spectrophotometer. And by measuring the amount of light of a sample, we can understand the concentration of solutes in the solution. So, for understanding the concentration of solutes in the sample, we measure the amount of light absorbed by the sample. This diagram shows a spectrophotometer. This is how a spectrophotometer looks like. There is a relationship between the light absorbed of by the sample as well as the concentration of the sample in the solution. So, this light absorbed by the sample is directly proportional to the concentration of the sample in the solution. So, we can see that as the absorbed light increases, the concentration also increases. So it's exponentially increased. Here is a graph showing absorbance at a given concentration. So as the concentration increases, the absorption also increases. And we get a linear graph by plotting absorption versus concentration. Now let us discuss what are the types of spectrophotometer. There are basically two types the single beam spectrophotometer as well as a double beam spectrophotometer. So next we will discuss about single beam spectrophotometer. This was invented first and all the light passes through the sample. That is there is only one path of light and this is cheaper and less complicated system than the double beam spectrophotometer. In the double beam spectrophotometer, there are two paths, that is, there are two light paths. One goes to the reference sample and the other goes to the test sample. So this is more stable than the single beam spectrophotometer. The above diagram shows a, a single beam spectrophotometer and the diagram below shows a double beam spectrophotometer. In the above diagram, it shows that the light source from there it goes to a monochromator. Monochromator is a device that takes a radiation and gives it in different wavelengths. So more about it we will discuss later on. Right now, so from the monochromator it goes to the sample compartment and from there it goes to the detector. That is, the light source travels in a single direction whereas in double beam, it moves in two directions, that is from the monochromator, it moves in two directions. It goes to the reference point as well as it goes to the sample test point. So, the light source moves in two directions here and hence it is double beam spectrophotometer. Now, let us discuss what are its components. It has a light source, a dispersion device, Kivets, detectors, and a display device. First is the light source. The light source is given in a purpose of giving light. So it provides sufficient light. So it can be of different types. It can be tungsten lamp, hydrogen or deuterium lamps, or neon lamps. So the tungsten lamp is most commonly used and it has long life. Whereas hydrogen or deuterium lamps are used for giving a UV region. And xenon lamps are used to emit both UV as well as visible region. It has long life. It, it also has a quality that it does not heat up the instrument. So the light source is the first component and this is given in a purpose to give light. And it can be of any of the types, it can be a tungsten lamp, it can be hydrogen and deuterium lamp, it can also be a xenon lamp. 
Next, we will discuss about the dispersion device. The dispersion device used in a spectrophotometer is a monochromator. What does this monochromator do? This monochromator breaks the polychromatic light into a component wavelength or bands of wavelength. So what does this monochromator actually do? If, for example, if we take a prism, a prism is a monochromator. This white light, when it passes through this prism, it gives different bands of wavelength. So this is the purpose of a dispersion device. This white light can be break down into bands of wavelength by passing through a prism. So this prism is hence called a monochromator. It can break a white light into bands of wavelength. So as talked earlier, a monochromator can be a prism. So from a prism, we get different wavelengths. This prism can be made of glass or cord. Another example of monochromator is a filter. This diagram shows a prism. This prism acts as a monochromator, that is, when a white light falls on the prism, different wavelengths are produced, that is, visible spectrum is obtained when a white light falls on the prism. Next. We also have a split in a spectrophotometer. A split is present to control the light that enters the spectrophotometer. So depending upon the width of the slit, we can say it affects the resolution. So narrower is the slit, higher is the resolution. Next, we will discuss about cuvettes. Cuvettes are a kind of cell and these are sealed at one end and are open on the other end and these cuvettes hold the samples. These cuvettes can be made of plastic, glass or cords. So cuvettes are made in purpose to hold the samples and they are sealed at one end and are open at the other end. This is how a cuvette looks like. It is open at one end and it is closed in the other end. And these samples are filled inside these cuvettes, and it is made up of glass, quartz, plastics, etc. So, next is a detector. Any photosensitive device is used as a detector. So, in these detectors, the current is proportional to the light intensity. So, thereby we can measure it. So, here the current is proportional to the light intensity. So any photosensitive device can be a detector. The last component of a spectrophotometer is a display device. So what does this display device do? It gives the value of a detector. So the data from the detector is being displayed in the display device. And examples of display devices are analog meter, digital display and LCD. Now, let us discuss the basic instrumentation of a spectrophotometer. First is the light source. From the light source, it moves towards the monochromator. From the monochromator, different wavelengths are obtained and these pass through a slit. And through the slit, it reaches the cuvette. And from these cuvettes, it goes to the detector. And it is finally read out by a digital display. This is the overall setup of a spectrophotometer and this is done in order to measure the concentration of solutes in a solution. Hope the concept of spectrophotometer is clear. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel. If you like the video, please like as well as comment and share with your friends.